Hi, welcome to another video. Today I'm looking at an AOC G2460P. This is the 144Hz refresh rate and you can see it's not booting up. This one's an important repair for me. Why? Because this belongs to my son. So I'm guessing it's not the backlight. It looks like it's not booting up. Right, let me take the back off. Well, this is an interesting design. Take the cover off, just unclips, two screws here, and it's stuck down. No other screws, just a load of tape. It is quite a heavy monitor. So this is obviously the video processing and the power supply under here. Right, so I've peeled this backing off. That's the power supply. That's the, as I said before, the processor, the main processor. Not sure what this board is. But I know this, this lead, this lead here goes out to two USBs on the side. Two speakers, one there, one down there. So this is a USB from the PC and it acts like a USB port or USB hub. Got two USB sockets on the side, two USBs there, power switch, mains. And unlike the cheaper monitors, so we've got probably microphone and headphones, HDMI, DVI, VGA and DisplayPort. And the only screws holding this to the front screen were here. So a bit cheap and cheerful isn't it? Right, so I need to take this power supply off. So I've got no great expectations at the moment because I've had other TVs where the power supply will start up and shut down because of a fault on the main board or even the other board that runs the screen. So whether it's just the power supply fault or not, I don't know. Well, this is looking quite good. So A, it's a simple power supply. Mains comes in here, common mode choke there. Stop the intervention getting out. Bit rectifier, that's the main that's the main smoothing for the rectified mains, so probably like 400 volts or so. Fuse. Yes, so a small bit of filtering. Rectifier, capacitor. This is obviously the main transformer. I'm not sure. I'm guessing the main switching FET is here. So just one transistor and one FET will pull all the current through this and we'll rectify it and get various outputs. I see no markings on the cable, no idea what voltage has come off this. So that's the main switching FET, that's an opto isolator. So you look at the output, feed some of it back through an opto isolator to isolate the hot side from the cold side. But what's looking really good, these caps are bulging and you've seen the amount of electronics I've fixed or certainly a portion of it. I have never had any of my equipment fail in such an easy manner. It's always something difficult. I mean, for example, I had a Panasonic plasma and there's a fuse under this that had overheated. I had another one, the switching inverter had failed, but it's simple enough to repair. So this looks like at a glance, it's just these two smoothing caps. That'd be really good news, because as I say, this monitor belongs to my son. So nothing special, and nothing to write home about, but this is looking promising. Yes, yeah, so another fuse in there, another fuse there. I'm gonna take these out and measure them. Right, here we go. So, 1000 microfarad, 25 volt, two of them. Use this. Atlas ESR tester. In circuit leaky ESR 20 ohms. See if I can move my leads out of the way. Try that again. It's fiddly to test with these leads. I don't know where my crocodile clips are. 15 microfarad 
20 ohm ESR. So that was knackered. Second one. Here we go. Oh, oh. I can't get I can't get this cap into view and let you see the screen. So test it again. Second cap in circuit leaky, 21 ohms, and again in circuit leaky, 20 ohm. So might be a fast monitor, but crappy caps. See if I've got some. Right, I haven't got any 1000 microfarad 25s, but I've got these 1035s. Ideally, you should stick to the rated voltage because this capacitor will measure 1000 microfarads at 25 volt or 1000 microfarad at two thirds of this voltage. So you need two thirds of that voltage to get that rated capacitance. So since there's less than 25 volts, we are not going to see 1000 microfarads in this capacitor. Just a little tip. But since I'm putting a new 1000 microfarad 35 volt, I think these are Matsushita, Matsushita Panasonic. Since these are brand new, they're going to be better than those faulty ones. But as I want to get this monitor going now, and I know these are perfectly acceptable, you never want to lower the voltage unless you know for a fact the voltage is going to be lower than the marked voltage on the cap. Two replacement capacitors. Actually, I've just noticed it's got an LED backlight, not the fluorescent lights. There we go. I'm happy because I don't have to spend hours and hours or days finding what the fault is and maybe having to buy a replacement board. So unlike many of my other repairs, this has been an easy fix. I'm pleased and I know my son's gonna be pleased. Thanks for watching.